Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here, back with another video. All right guys, so in this video, I want to talk about GPU mining and the current trend that it is in right now, as well as video card pricing trends, uh, the correlation to the crypto market, if there is any, but of course there is, but we're gonna check that, we're gonna check all that out and we're gonna check out some GPU prices. So to start off first, um, I did a, I did do a similar video about GPU mining as a trend, the worrying trend of GPU mining. And I just wanted to show this graph, this uh, Google Trend site uh, showing the term GPU mining. And as you guys can see here quickly, the we all know the high time of the end of 2017, the the bull the infamous bull run that we had the last one where bitcoin went to 20k as you guys can see here gpu mining was at 100 percent interest <laughs> and then as the crypto market started to go down as you can see here it correlated with the 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 market going down and as you guys can see to where we are now it's pretty much no, it's like nothing. <laughs> GPU interest is at a good old like 12 right now. So yeah, it's pretty sad. But this is this this trend has happened before. So let's say we go back uh, another five years here. So here we are right now, February, almost end of February, right? And and the same thing happened between this time before the the run up uh, GPU mining when Ethereum started going up in June 24th. So interesting that GPU mining was pretty hot back in 2014. That's when Bitcoin, if you guys can see here on the left, that's when Bitcoin started to go to a thousand dollars. So and then it went back down, Bitcoin went back down to $200 around this area, and then GPU mining interest was, again, down. <laughs> but, and then that was a long three-year bear market. And you guys know this point here is the uh, high time of uh, Bitcoin right there. So, what I'm trying to get at is, yeah, we might be in this bear market for a long time, who knows. And the GPU interest is obviously down for that reason. So now let's go take a look at video card pricing. So with the video card pricing right now, I use this nice little website, uh, PCPartPicker.com. Uh, they have a uh, price trends for all the all the video cards, all the popular ones, except for the GTX 1080 Ti. I have reason to believe they didn't show that because the 1080 Ti is pretty much MSRP like you can buy those pretty much on par right now a lot of well in Canada it's they're really expensive here like uh, minimum I've seen on Craigslist on the used market for me around me in Canada is around $750 Canadian uh, US right now I believe it's around 600 or 500 USD which <laughs> to me, which is, it's, that's, that's really expensive. I feel like that's still like brand new pricing, right? Back in the day. So, okay. Anyway, um, PC park, uh, part picker price trends, how to interpret the price trends graph. So right here, we're going to look at all the different cards, guys, thick black lines represent the average price for parts in a given category. Gray banding represents the minimum and maximum price range. Individual part, part prices are displayed as blue, uh, light blue points with within the gray banding creating an intensity graph of the price distribution dips in the lower price bound typically correspond to sales or in extreme cases merchant pricing mistakes price data includes promos coupons rebates and shipping costs when available all right so gtx geforce 1050 ti let's go take a look <clears throat> Okay, so when they first came out, September, before September, I guess, it doesn't go all the way back, they're around $180 USD, but then the bull run in end of 2017, you guys can see here, 
it was it is now it was about uh, 250 260 dollars for a GTX 1050 Ti um, and then as the bullwind went down the card started to fall off level off in price so yeah uh, a, a 1050 Ti is still more than it was when it first came out. Right now, you can you can buy brand new a GTX 1050 Ti, uh, but more for more than what that's worth a year and a bit ago. Uh, 1060 six gigabyte. Yeah, it looks like uh, right now. Yeah, 1060 six gigabyte. The price is actually lower than what it was. Uh, I can also agree to that because in Canadian prices, you can buy used a GTX 1060 6GB for around $200 right now, Canadian. So in in USD, that would be, here, let's just do a search on 1060 6GB uh, uh, in American. <sighs> yeah, $90, $92, $172. Ninety six, hundred and seventy three, hundred and seventy, hundred and fifty. Okay, so average price is like one sixty for a hundred and six uh ten sixty gigabyte card. Alright, so that's pretty good. Let's go to ten seventy. Alright, GTX ten seventy is uh so when it first came out, yeah, they were about five, six hundred, between five hundred and six hundred dollars. And the high time of Bitcoin was around here. And then so a GTX 1070 was $610. Damn. Probably more than that. And then now it's leveled off to around 500 USD for brand new. Now, for used, I think you guys in the US, you guys can get them for about $300, I'm going to say. So let's go check eBay. GTX 1070. And what do we got here? Ooh, a sponsored one. GTX 1070 Founders Edition, Samsung Memory, two-year warranty, $289. GTX 1070, 8GB, $130. Well, that's forbidding. Okay, $250, $275. Okay, so a GTX 1070 right now is between $250 and $300, I'm going to say. Okay, so that's, 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 that's pretty good for used. And then brand new, yeah. 500 bucks huh crazy okay now uh gtx 1070 ti this is a card that i wanted to really check out because right now it's really expensive for some reason uh near me anyway so msrp or brand new back in the day 2017 it was about 459 469 and then <laughs> the high time of bitcoin they were selling for about nine below 900 bucks nuts just nuts and then it started leveling down 700 bucks to 600 bucks back in may and as we see now you guys see the dip between november 2018 and and pretty much now the price was lower in november but now uh january or february 2019 it's you want to buy a 1070 ti it's going to be around 550 bucks right now brand new and used, it's probably 300, uh, 1070 Ti. I'm going to say 250, 280 to 350, 370. Uh, 1070 Ti Founders, 265. That was bidding. Uh, 1070, 400 bucks. Man, these are expensive prices for, for US. 1070 Ti Winforce Gigabyte, $315 or best offer. Okay, there's some bidding war stuff, cheap ones going on, but okay. So yeah, I mean, generally 1070 Ti's, yeah, they're they're gonna be a lot more than the 1070s right now. So that's that's a bummer. 1070 1070 Ti is a, is a good card. I I have one of them and they mine really well. Okay, guys, uh, I'm not I'm not gonna go through the RTX 2060s, the 2070s, but as you guys can see, the price hasn't changed much, and they're super super duper expensive right now to buy to buy art any of the rtx cards uh, uh we can see here on the nvidia.com shop you can buy a 2080 ti for 1200 bucks in canadian it's about 1500 bucks canadian right now brand new 
1500 for an RTX 2080 Ti. Who's going to buy that? <laughs> Nobody. Uh, 2080, 800 bucks. 2070, 600 bucks. 1080, Founders Edition, 549, out of stock, out of stock. Uh, 1070, GTX 1070 is 399, brand new. So uh, I'm going to go back to the chart here. So if that's 399, brand new. Okay, so we got uh, it's a little bit higher pricing on the PC part picker. But I know generally NVIDIA has lower prices for, because of their Founders Edition cards. Um, because they're Founders Edition, so uh, the aftermarket cards, yeah, they're gonna cost a little bit, a little bit more. Uh, okay, guys. Now next, I want to go. Let's check out the AMD cards for you AMD miners out there. I I got an AMD rig myself. I'm not gonna check out the 560 or five uh, seven, uh, 550s, um, but as you guys can see, the price has gone up a little bit. And so let's look at the 570s. Good old RX 570s right now. Super cheap right now. Okay, so brand new when they came out there, we're between 280 and 300 bucks. High time Bitcoin 20K, they started selling for over 400 bucks. And now we come, here we are in February. They are, if you want to buy one brand new, it's going to be between. 150 to 200 USD. Now, let's look on the used market. RX 4570. And we're going to find some insane prices here. You can bid for this. $55, $112, buy it now. RX 570, 8 gigabyte, 112 bucks. 105 bucks, 70 bucks. Uh, 125 bucks. Yeah, so I, I bet you can you can find RX 570 below a hundred bucks these days, USD. Uh, in Canadian, I know it's a we can we can buy them up here for around 120 to 160 at least 160 bucks. So RX 570s they're they're pretty cheap. They're pretty cheap. Now the 580s are pretty much a similar story, just a little bit more. I'm guessing 100 to 100 120 to 200 bucks. Uh, yeah, so brand new you can buy right now it's between 200 to 300 bucks USD. Uh, let's check out the used market real quick. RX 580. And we're looking at $113. RX 580. 124. Wow, 450. 113, 169, 120, 124, $146 USD. 120. <coughs> so. Uh, 174, $86. Yeah, so it, it, it varies, guys. It, it varies what it varies what you guys can find on the used market. Like you can probably get a killer deal in your guys' own city if you use like Craigslist or something. I'm sure you guys can find better deals. But yeah, just showcasing you guys just the prices of these cards recently. And uh, now we can correlate that because it correlates to the market. So if we look at the Ethereum chart here, you guys know Ethereum went to like 1400 bucks and it, it it does correlate with GPU mining. I, I believe it does. So in my opinion, not financial advice, but if we can see that this mark, we're going to be in the bear market for a while. And I know that a lot of people, a lot of other crypto miners, some, some crypto miners are selling, and then holding on to the coins and then some others are are buying hardware right now a lot of people are a lot of people are actually buying hardware right now for the next potential bull run but you know these bull runs i feel like they they really don't last that that long but you guys can see here this 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 bull run was happening from november to uh february so this was about 4 months span of very high profitability for mining right so for us miners when we, we when we take a look at this oh it's like oh well we only had four four months of profitability why are we gonna buy uh gpus right well it's it's all about you know for gpu miners it's also low risk so if we were buying very uh used gpus for really cheap and then mining and hodling 
for the next bull run, I would call that a win because you still hold on to the physical assets plus you have the coin as another uh, asset that you will uh, be able to sell on later on and get all your money back plus you still have all the physical hardware so what's what that's like a win-win right depends how you look at it a lot of people say investing in the coin right away will 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 um, get you the rewards uh, fiat reward and better in the long run which is true in in a sense but you don't know when that's gonna happen and a lot of people like me I like GPU mining myself so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm going to be doing all that myself. I like GPU mining. I like buying GPUs. I like playing around with them. So you're not going to, you're not going to see me just go out and buy $500,000 worth of Bitcoin or Ethereum just like that. I, I like to mine it. So, okay. Sorry guys. That was a long video, but if you stayed this long, please let me know what you think about the whole buying GPUs right now and the price trends and the trending of video cards and GPU mining itself. Let me know what you guys think and if you're buying cards right now, mining and all that kind of stuff, all that good stuff. Anyways, guys, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you next time.